Put aluminum foil on your remote control and you'll be surprised by the result. Many don't know what it's for to put aluminum foil on the TV remote control, but today I'll tell you that big secret. If you have an old remote control that no longer works, don't throw it away because I'll teach you how to fix it using just aluminum foil. We often have a remote control like this where some buttons work and others don't. The ones that stop working are always the most used buttons, like the volume and power buttons. The first step is to remove the batteries from the remote control. Now with a knife, we're going to open the control. We look for the slot and try to separate the pieces delicately. This must be done very carefully because we don't want to damage the control. The inside of the remote control tends to get dirty, so let's go straight to cleaning the parts that are causing problems. First, we remove the control membrane. This is a membrane that usually accumulates grease internally due to use while eating and watching TV at the same time. This grease or corrosion can create a capacitive impedance that causes the buttons not to work correctly. Now, let's wash the entire remote control with water and soap to remove all the grease. While we do this, tell us where you're watching from to give a special greeting in our next video. Today's special greeting is for Joana Gonzalez from Rio Grande do Sul and Rita Oliveira from Paraíba. Thank you very much for supporting us and watching our videos. After washing with a clean towel or cloth, we dry everything very well until there are no more water droplets in sight. Next, using a hair dryer, we dry the control circuit until no more water comes out and it gets warm. Similarly, we dry the other components. With this procedure, you avoid buying a new remote control. You'll save quite a bit of money on that. When all the control parts are completely dry, the next step is to use metallic or aluminum foil. With the help of scissors, we cut small pieces of aluminum foil. Aluminum is an excellent conductor of electricity. Once the aluminum is cut, we place the foil on the buttons that weren't working. At this point, we know which buttons aren't working. Initially, we saw that they are the volume and channel up and down buttons. We place the foil as shown on the screen. It's important to ensure that during this process, the aluminum doesn't touch any other button, only the one that isn't working. For this reason, the cut must be more or less precise. Then, we put the rubber part on top of the board first to prevent the aluminum foil from moving. Now we put the corresponding part on top and press well to keep it in place. When we have assembled the entire control, the aluminum we placed inside will be completely secured. Finally, we put the batteries to test. Now let's test on the TV the buttons we fixed before. As you can see, they work correctly. If your control has this problem, you can easily fix it with this technique.